Previously on iProperty NTTV. We'll tell you a little bit about how uh, I got sacked from uh, Mix Smith Focus First National for, for, for being on drugs. <laughs> It's a true story. It's a true story. You can hear it in the next episode. I'm thinking, oh, okay, that's right. Yeah. Not actually being broke. <laughs> okay. That's all we are. Uh, Podcast. Vodcast. And Snogcast. Yes. Let's get started. Okay. G'day guys, Peter Kafkas. And Peter Gowers for iProperty, NT, TV, Vodcast and Vlogcast. Hello to you, wherever you may be watching. How about that from Pete? That's our thing. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, well... Um, Welcome we'll back. Yeah. Episode 2 and... We're gonna. Go, oh, that's right. Yeah, we were talking last time about your uh, unti untimely demise. Oh yes, <laughs> yes. Your first real estate job. So we went on to episode two. We briefly spoke about auctions and some of those new record low prices. Oh yes. Yes. My apologies. Yes. We've already done episode two. We have. This will be episode three. Tana, told you yeah. we're unscripted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unscripted and raw. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And uh, so just on that. What happened was, uh, I got fired from Focus First National Mix Smith for being on drugs. Yeah, it was fair enough though, really, when you think about it. You can't turn up to work like that. Yeah, well, it was the Darwin Cup. <laughs> I just got into real estate, and I remember having a great time, yeah. drinking a lot, so I get it. A picnic day? Why wouldn't you? And people think I'm on drugs all the time. But, um, <laughs> you know, I remember being up in the VI member section, I'll say, you know, we were a couple of prominent people. The acting mayor at the time, Gary, he was there too, and I remember saying, this team is so awesome, I love this crew, they're the best. And inadvertently, I actually, that's when I met May Dunlop, was that Darwin Cup, and I've never seen her before. Yeah, right. I've only seen her in the newspaper. There you go. And we walked you, past each other. You hadn't seen the signboards? No, back then, no, no, no. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. so, and I'm going, May Dunlop, and she was like, yeah, Peter Kafka, I said, yeah, hi, and went on our merry ways. Yeah, right. But what inadvertently happened was uh, Monday is a public holiday, so I remember Elise calling me on a Tuesday <laughs> when he just come into the office. I mean, yes, all right, yeah, yeah, no worries. Got in there. A couple of listings you must have for me. Things are, things are going <laughs> awesome. I had Michael, the, the Michael Pisanis at the time, the developer. He gave me a couple of listings, so I was looking good, you know. Yeah, yeah. New to the industry, yep. fired up. Yeah. And uh, um, yeah, they called me into the office, and Jeff Pollard was there. Yep. Mate, we've had reports about you uh, misrepresenting the company. I mean, what? <laughs> misrepresenting the company? I was saying how awesome you guys were. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we've had reports of you being on drugs. I mean, drugs? I was with, I was with my family. We went back to my place afterwards. I was drunk as shit. But it wasn't filtering through. Yeah. And that's when I had that moment. I was like, they're sacking me. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't going to end well. So you know what I said to him? Tell me. This is a true story. Yep. I said, Jeff, I've never been fired before in my life. I don't know what to do. Yeah. And then I started to get defensive. I was like, um, okay, you know what? I'm going to stay in this industry. Mm -hmm. That's good. Calling Paul Thompson mobile. Great. Thank you, Siri. <laughs> we never wanted you to call Paul Thompson mobile. That's uh, unscripted. Yeah. What the hell? We're not even going to edit that out. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Siri, but we don't need Paul Thompson right now, hey, Paul? I think it might have needed more than just a speaker change. <laughs> <laughs> we just got a speaker change yeah. about yeah. half an hour ago. Yeah, yeah well. Um, yeah, anyway, so long story short, we'll fast forward this. Um, but, mate, we're going to let you go. And I was lost. I rang up Lauren. I was like, Lauren, um, I've been sacked. She's like, what? And we're a bit scared at the time because it's never happened to us before. Rounding and finishing this story off, I wasn't on drugs, I was really drunk. <laughs> Ended up calling May Dunlop and, uh, and um, she actually got me an interview at Rain and Horn. Ah, oh, okay. And that's how that started. That's how the Rain and Horn um, 
skill. Yeah, yeah right. right. I didn't realise that myself. Yeah. Yeah. So that's enough about me. But Pete doesn't know mm. is we're going to actually find out about his story. What happened after Focus First National? That's what happened to me. That was my three month stint in the yeah, industry. Yeah, yeah. Got fired. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, it was a prestigious start. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I, I then, um, I was literally driving in my car at Koolalinga, I can remember it, yeah. and I was on my way to a sales appraisal and um, I noticed it was a number from overseas and I thought oh, I'm just going to answer this and see who it is. And there was a recruiter on the phone saying, um, look, we've got a job for a senior person in real estate. Uh, we need someone to come in and really shake up a business and it's quite diverse and they do a lot of things. Um, you know, would you be interested in that? I said, well, uh, yeah, I'm in Darwin at the moment. I'm pretty happy. Like, where is it? And he said, oh, it's in Dubai. And he was an Australian guy, but I said, where are you? He said, yeah, I'm in Dubai. I said, oh, okay. And literally within mm. a really short space of time, I was on a plane flying over for interviews and doing all those things, seeing all the properties and meeting all the, the staff at, at this company and was introduced to a, a, a massive world of, it wasn't just real estate, it was property development, right. facilities management, it was huge, so. Wow. Yeah. So from Darwin real estate, bang over to Dubai, wow. yeah, just like it, that. It, it was pre-GFC, so. Um, what year approximately? Uh, I arrived there in 2008. Gotcha. And yep. uh, it, it, it was literally, uh, I got there and in fact, when I went over for the interview, it was pretty much on real estate grounds and this is something they do over there. I got there and they said, oh, you know how you're the general manager of the real estate company? Like, yeah, yeah. They said, well, that company also owns a facilities management company and is responsible for all the in-house family property development. So you now run that as well. And I'm like, oh, okay, right, no problems. And um, it was pre-GFC, so there was this you know, amazing kind of uh, feeling in the air of, you know, we want to open offices and employ people, and we want to grow and you know, do, whatever, do whatever it takes, whatever you need to do to make it happen. I want to go to Dubai. Yeah, well, uh, but that, that was the first 12 months, and then um, the GFC hit, and nobody kind of really knew what was going on. And after about three months, everyone realized, oh, this market's dead and not coming back. Property prices had halved. It was, uh, wow. it was pretty depressing. And then, then the owners came in and said, right, um, close offices, sack everybody. We need to survive this. And, uh, and, and that was probably the next 18 months. And, and at the end of it, um, it, you know, it just wasn't feasible for me to stay either. So I kind sure. of, kind of um, managed myself into unemployment so to speak. Oh but yeah yeah yeah. We were ready to come home anyway so it was it worked out quite well. But uh, yeah it was an amazing time. Oh there you go. Well. Anyway we'll uh, catch you on episode four where we will talk about something that you will not want to miss. There it is. P's come, gonna come up with something you don't want to miss. <laughs> I'm Peter Kafkas and I'm Peter Gowers for I Property NT TV. Vodcast and Vodcast. Vodcast. Bye bye.